Here's a couple quick and dirty ways to make uh, stop animation video. So I just took a few photos on my desk using a little flip cam, and they're, they just drop into this folder here. Easiest way is just use Windows Explorer like this. Open the first one, hold down the right arrow key, and there's my cup going across my desk, and that's it. That is the easiest way in the world. Now, I was thinking another way you can do it is every Windows machine comes with something called Windows Photos and Windows 10 Photos. And you just go to this thing and you go to New Video. You go to New Video Project. Here it is. You call it whatever you want. And you go to Add. I can say From This PC. And I'm just going to go back to that the flip cam here. I'm going to grab all the photos. There they are. Boom. They're adding, and they're coming soon. And I'm going to pop them all into the storyboard. Now, the tricky thing is, by default, they're all three seconds long, which is probably a little bit longer than we want. So what you can do, unfortunately, this is a little bit faffy, is you need to select the photos like this. And again, this is a bit of a fiffle. There's probably a better way to do it. I haven't really figured it out yet. I haven't really looked into it. So there's the cup going along. I'm highlighting all the pictures. And I think these are the last ones. Now what you can do is just change the duration on them to something like 0 0.4 seconds. And that changes the duration of each of them. And let's watch our little video. There we go. There's my cup moving along. And my hand's in there a little bit. And there it goes. Now, what's, once that's done, you go to Finish Video. You can save it. Let's go crazy and do it HD. Those are wild like that. Put it on the desktop. Uh, something there earlier. It's exporting. It's coming. And here it is. There's our little new video. And it's saved and it's rendered into an HD video that we can watch anytime you want. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's, that's a couple ways to do it with the software that's already on every machine.